All right, this is Bob Maloney for my MMA news, and I'm joined by my man Greg White. Greg's got a battle coming up at Stella 43, August 17th in Harrington, Delaware. Greg, my man, how you feeling, brother? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? I'm great, man. Listen, before we even get into this camp and this fight, let's let's go back and talk about your last fight because it was crazy. It was one of the most memorable fights that I can remember. And uh, even though you came out the losing end of a split decision, it was a gr it was a great fight um, against John Michael. And yeah. you know that third round when he went down to the double leg, and he, I couldn't believe he actually went for it. <laughs> first time anybody ever picked you up like that because you're a big man, and he went for it, and I could not believe it. He had you airborne. Is that the first time that ever happened to you? Yeah, yeah, that was probably the first time it ever happened. Actually, actually caught me off guard, you know. Which, I mean, I was tired. You know, when you're tired, your brain scrambled and you're not really paying attention to what's going on. But, yeah, it, it definitely caught me for a shock. But I think when he slammed me, I actually got up before he did because I mean, once he picked me up in the air, like, I knew it was coming. So I just braced and popped back up after it happened. But it was, yeah, that, it was, to, me, to me, that was fight of the night, man. Both of you guys left it all in the cage. And the third round, you guys were both – so 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 beat up from, from <laughs> beating each other up for the whole fight, man. It was just oh, such yeah. a fight. That's all we talked about after the fight was the heavyweight fight, man. You really brought it. Now, oh, listen, Greg, good. I'm always honest with you because I'm a fan, and I really think you got the skills to make a run at this, but we talked about it before. You have to, you know, you get experience and yeah. get, your, get your cardio better because you are a big guy. So tell me how you feel. Do you feel that's an honest assessment of your game because i think listen for a big guy i really love your footwork and you're nimble on your feet for being a big guy yeah. and you have really nice hands and 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 kicks too but i think as you move forward the better shape you get in the more those skills will come out oh yeah yeah i think you you pretty much like hit the nail on the head i feel exactly the same way so um i've been working on it a little bit um i i don't think i had as great as a camp as i would like um, I actually did a jiu-jitsu tournament about a month ago and um, banged up my shoulder pretty well. So I'm actually just, you know, back to being able to grapple and stuff. So, I mean, it, feel, it feels all right. It's good enough for me to for me to fight, you know. No excuses at all there. But, um, you know, I didn't, I'm just starting to get back to actually training like I really want. But with that being said, um, I actually just started training with a buddy of mine who's a personal trainer. And he's offered to, you know, help me out and, you know, sponsor me and, and give me – um free lessons you know he's pretty much like i think you know one of the best you know has one of the best facilities and one of the best trainers you know in delmarva so um i just started doing that with him so i mean you probably won't see much of it this fight but um definitely the next event you know with it being more spaced out i think you know you should probably see a whole different version of me tell me a little bit about this fight what is your opponent's name and do you know anything about him um, I don't want to mess up his last name. I think it's like Chris Jakowski or something like that. Um, I really don't know anything about him. Um, I, you know, of course I did try to do a little research and seen his first fight. And I think, you know, it ended in like 23, 30 seconds, you know, him getting knocked out. So, um, you know, not much tape off there, but, you know, I just have to go out and just focus on myself. Not really so much on my opponent. Well, listen, now that you've been involved in this in, in the sport a little bit more and you've had a few fights, do you feel like do you feel like it's it's that you're learning a lot? Do you feel it's coming easier to you? Yeah, yeah. But just other parts of the fight besides the work, like the mental part and the studying and, and and the learning. Do you feel like you're advancing as you know, because not not that you have a lot of time, but you are on like your fourth fight now coming up. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like I'm, I'm learning and advancing as I go. You know, my moves getting better. You know, I'm still at this moment. You know, I'm still at the, at the same gym. I mean, I plan on being at the same gym, but maybe eventually I might, you know, add another gym, you know, an MMA gym. So right now, you know, still, you know, doing what I can right now with some of the guys here. And, um, you know, I, I feel good. You know, I feel like it comes natural to me and I uh, got a lot, of, a lot of work to do. But, I mean, I feel like, um, you know, I started training and then I kind of just wanted to jump into it, you know, you know, um, I probably could have been a little more trained or maybe even at a different gym. But, you know, I feel like I, I just wanted to jump into it, 
and see if it was for me. I felt like that was the best way. And, you know, I feel like it's, you know, I feel like I can make a career out of it at some point, you know, as long as I stay disciplined and get the proper training, diet, and, you know, get into, like, way better shape. So, you know, that's my plan. I'm, you know, I'm pretty much locked in, and I'm that's what I'm going to go for, you know. How's your family taken to it now? You know, their dad is, you know, and, 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 and you know, your family, do they, do they enjoy coming to the fights and watching you go in there and throw down? Um, well, my kids, uh, my kids are young. I got a five-year-old, a two-year-old, and about to be one-year-old soon. So, you know, they haven't been to the fights. But my wife's been, you know, she's very supportive with my fighting, training. Anytime I got to go, you know, do jujitsu, go to the gym, you know, she never really gives me too much of a fuss. And um, she was actually in my corner in my, my second fight. I ran like a corner man short, so, you know, she was in my corner with me, so. Luckily, you know, that fight ended with the stuff that happened with the ref. So, you know, I didn't get beat up. I didn't get beat up too too bad. Great, great. Awesome. Once again, Greg White here. He's getting in the cage for the fourth time at Stellar Fights coming up on the 17th in Harrington, Delaware. Greg is a great guy. He's, he's a fun to be around. I love talking to him. Greg, before we go, give out some love or some shout outs if you picked up any sponsors or anybody that, you know, so um, still to get ready. Yeah, well, actually, um, I'm, I'm ho- definitely, I've been talking to a couple people, so, I mean, I don't want to say anything too yet, you know, still have to, you know, finalize some stuff, but I'm looking at probably maybe about, by next fight, at least maybe like three sponsors, you know, all, all pretty much like guys that I know that, you know, have their own business, so, you know, you know, they're willing to help me out and, you know, me help them out, so hopefully, you know, three sponsors coming, so, you know, it's, 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 it's all coming together little by little, so I'm, I'm excited. Uh, there you go. There's the boss. <laughs> yeah, she just knocked the phone out of my hand. That's okay, man. Hey, listen. One thing that you have to learn about this is, man, you got to have fun with it. If you have to bring the kids to the gym and they get oh, in there, yeah. you just give them a big hug and you roll with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh-huh. Once again, Greg, man, it's always great to talk to you, man. I can't wait to see you on the 17th. Good luck with your final week of preparations. I hope your shoulder's feeling good. Oh, yeah, and yeah, it's feeling I will, good. I will see you. I will see you in Harrington, my man. All right. Thanks again. My pleasure.